What's up, beautiful people? Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you. You know I do. Coro, coro, girl. Welcome back for another video. Hey, girl. Uh huh. Uh huh. Hey, girl. So I'm a little hype right now because this is a style wars that's going on right now. Uh huh. So the main choice was like, look. I want you and JD Winters to go head to head. And I was like, first off, <laughs> it's nothing to it but to do it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go ahead, uh-huh, and I'm gonna style my hair. All right, I got all of my things. Girl, I already know y'all got my back, okay? So I already know, y'all know, that I know that I'm popping. And what's really popping is my curls. Janie thinks she got it? Ah, sis, maybe. But who really got it? Your girl now. So, I mean, we can challenge each other. I already know who the winner is. I got the main choice pink lemonade and coconut collection in my possession. Did I just rhyme? <sighs> you already know who the winner is just off of those bars right there. You know what I'm saying? So I'm about to show y'all a pop and perm rise set, okay? I have a couple of items from their collection, which is the pink lemonade and coconut mousse, okay? I'll be using that as my styler. I also have their pink lemonade and coconut curl boosting sherbet. But because it's a rod set, I'm probably just gonna mainly use the mousse. Um, but I'm just showing y'all a couple of things that I did grab from Walmart, from their line. And also too, I have their five minute reviving mask, okay? So I will be shampoo and conditioning my hair with their um, shampoo um, from this collection. But I also want to try out the five minute reviving mask. Now the rods that I use, that I'm gonna use, I actually found at Walmart. Um, and they kind of match the theme, so I'm like, why not? So these are just some basic perm rods. Let me get this on and pop it. I, I, I ain't gotta say more. Let me, let me just get off the screen. So let's get this video started. Oh, girl, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. All right, so, I already washed my hair using their shampoo, but I've never used the actual, I never used their five minute reviving mask, so I wanted to use that with you all. Oh, oh wow. Now see that? I can cream it. This line smells so good. Like, it really does smell like pink lemonade. Just sit for five minutes, girl. Five whole minutes. Mm. Get my hands off. Five whole minutes, girl. And I'll be back. So this is what my hair is looking like after the five minute reviving mask. Okay. So I'm just using one of their um, leave-in conditioners. So we are going to start in the back. As normal. I am using these random rods that I found at Walmart. But there, there are so many other rods that you can, this is loud. There's so many other rods out there, local beauty supply stores that you can buy and um, go from there. At this point, I'm basically like a foaming mousse connoisseur, okay? So you definitely want to look for a mousse that is that is nice and fluffy, um, that's not too watered down uh, once you pump it and you know you are having something good if it's not just sliding out the hand automatically when you hold it up like this. So this is a good mousse. Try and twist it on me up. This dripping situation is annoying. <laughs> All right, so two strand twisted. Stop. You add these purple rods at the end. Yeah. Just roll it up. Okay, roll it up. So when doing a rod set, I particularly like to use a dimming brush or maybe a, a tangle teaser, possibly. Um, if you like tangle teasers, it's really good with smoothing the ends. So. I know some people out there are probably just like, you know, in that no tools realm where you don't use anything when actually styling your hair. But when it comes to a rod set, I definitely say to use some type of tool. You'll see hairstylists, they like to use combs, small tube combs, 
to smooth it on out. And in my opinion, the way it goes on is the way it's gonna come out. So, so I try to take my time and smooth it. Hold that piece you just smoothed out. Okay, don't waste your time and mess it up. Now hold that, okay? I'm holding it really tight like that and then adding the rod. And I'm not overlapping. We don't want that. We wanna make sure that you're going up the rod. Okay, filling out the length of the rod. All right, so I'm gonna do one more section and um, I basically just parted off a section for the front. So I'm going to do bigger perm rods in the front. I'm going to try something different. We'll see what that looks like. I don't know, I just don't know. But I'm gonna finish this off. I'm basically going to split this right down the middle. It's probably the straightest I'm going to get it. I'm not about to be here all day. <laughs> I'm just not. I'm not. And then we're just going to do this section. So I'm purposely parting it in the middle so that I can do what I need to do when my hair is gir giraffe. Okay? It doesn't match anymore, but I'm gonna go orange just so that these can be nice and fluffy in the front. But what you can see I did on this side is that I just had a small section that I did and I just flat twisted it just to give it a little um. So once we take the front down, we're just gonna add that to this um, ponytail and then it'll just have something a little different to look at um, and not just a typical two puffs in the front. So I'm gonna do that same thing on this side. Just leave out a little section to flat twist. Is that the same size? It looked like it. All right, so this is gonna be my section that I'm gonna flat twist. Okay. Basically, I sat, sat on the dryer for about an hour, probably an hour and a half. Um, Cause after a while I kind of just get used to it. And so then I'm just chilling and watching TV or editing. So um, I was under there for an hour and a half and then at the time I looked at the time, I said, you know, let's just go to bed. So I went to bed, and now this is the next day. Unravel it first and see what it's doing. Basically, separate the back to the fullest. I got to the fullest or the fullest. All right. I mainly focus the oil on like my fingertips because that is where we are mainly twirling those ends. So. Just make sure you put enough oil just on the fingertips so that when you're separating, girl, I'm curl can just flow and pack.
So what you're gonna go ahead and do is just separate this whole section. All right, so we're just gonna gather that all up like that. Get some edge control and lay this hair down. This is going up in a ponytail, so I'm trying to make sure after I do my little swoop swoop, my little swoop swoop, that I go upward so that it can go easily into the ponytail. kind of worked but kind of didn't work it was supposed to come all the way down and then go back but that's fine and yes I have gray hair now sis now sis you see the facts I just showed you a popping pearl rod set tutorial on today okay with this on point product and my gifted hands uh-huh I created something popping for you okay this video is just a reminder of what I got going on over here. You feel what I'm saying? So JD, <laughs> she can try. She only wishes her hair could do this. She only wishes. And it could if she follows my tutorial. <laughs> I'ma give it to her. Her makeup be popping. Some days I look like an Oompa Loompa, but her makeup be popping. But when it comes to hair, ooh, your girl Nene, she has it in the bag. JD, maybe. But me, who we? <laughs> JD, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> but me, mm -hmm. ooh we. Oh, see, y'all don't get it. Bars for days. So to cast your vote, girl, go ahead and visit the Main Choice Instagram page, which is the Main Choice right here, right here, and cast your vote. They'll tell you exactly how you can vote. And yeah, girl, pick me. Your girl. Who your girl? Me. Who got your back? Go ahead and vote who you think has the best hairstyle between the Style Wars we had with the Main Choice Girl. If you haven't already, visit www.themainchoice.com. This collection is actually found at a lot of different locations. I'll leave them all down below. You can find it at H-E-B, you can find it at Walmart. That's from the Main Choice, but I'll leave all the different locations that you can find this collection down below. I'll also leave a link so you can read more about this collection too. So let me know down below if you found this video helpful, entertaining, educational, okay? And if you did, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. Also, have you joined my Beautiful People crew? All you gotta do is just click the subscribe button and you automatically join the crew. Click that subscribe button. And yeah, girl, so as always, I thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later. Peace, 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 peace.